Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I like the 911, Rich. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on one classic video, and I'm not talking about just me being an old classic, we're talking about this hot rod classic. You say, hot rod classic, man, these are hot rods, German hot rods, because killer corner speed, great sound, and continuing to go up in value year after year, this, my friends, is what we call a classic exotic, right? Four-wheel disc brakes, all right, air conditioning, sunroof, right here's the option sheet that came on the car from the factory, power seat, uh, alarm system uh, with the factory spoiler, so it came with the spoilers from the factory, it wasn't added, it's on the build sheet of this car right here, uh, central locking and the upgraded Monterey uh, Reno radio. So in this car here, we have two steering wheels, on it is the Momo steering wheel, we also have the stock steering wheel, we can put that back on for you, so if you wanted to go to car shows and things like that, and you wanted to be really pure and authentic, that would be it. Also too, when I'm buying a car, some of the things that I look at for the first test is be the tires, and you say, well Tom, why would you need to look at tires on a car? Well, because I know this, if this is my baby, I'm gonna put the very best tires I can get for the car, right, I'm not gonna overspend, but I'm gonna put the very best tires I can on the car, right? And that way I know people, if it's a, let's say it was a lease turn in, you'd be putting the cheapest set of tires you could on there. If you were just flipping the car and it needed tires, you'd put cheap tires. Here we start out with Pirelli P6000s, right? Very authentic, very period correct on the car. The Grand Prix right, white with the black trim and the black center wheels is back in style. This video is being almost 2020 right now. This right now is the hottest color combination out there. They say it's old as new and this holds the key to that. All right, this car here, Looks to be original paint, so I like to uh, show you, at least right here on the hood, uh, it's hard to read the words, especially white on white, but uh, the paint has a beautiful shine under here. These lights are really hard on the cars and it looks like it just glows. All right, so let's take a peek under here for a minute. Okay, so some of this stuff is really important, right? We're talking about collector cars right now. So for instance here, we have the original sticker that came, this is what we call the build sheet, right? This has the codes that came from the cars that went down the assembly line. Also as well, here's the VIN number to the car on these stickers that was required that year okay, for theft, meaning that uh, there were stickers on the panels in case things got stolen and people got tried to sell them on the market. Under here is a big deal. The toolkit, I took this out here for a second, it's fabulous, it's all nice and complete, at least it appears to be, all right? And then here, all right, is the original spare, all right, as well as the original color code that's here, all right? This is the factory glue that they would have sprayed in here to keep the carpet down, right? Because you wouldn't have nearly need to look inside there. Under here, all of the other goods. This is the factory alarm is right there as well, all right? And I believe, as a matter of fact, yep, the uh, nipples are still on the spare tire. I don't believe it's ever been put on the car. And so that, again, one more reason why some cars are worth more than others. And here's a perfect example of exactly that. Right, so we're taking a back end look at what most people see, especially on the track or something like that, because these are known for their high corner speed, great braking and incredible handling, right? I just wanted you to see how wide this looks, especially with the factory spoiler that's on there. This is not an added whale tail. It's on the sticker underneath the hood, shows it came from the factory, the front and rear spoilers, right? Let's take a peek under here, because believe it or not, this is a big deal. 
So these are the original stickers on the car. We did not replace these stickers. And this is a well taken care of engine compartment. This has had an engine out service. It comes with roughly $20,000 in receipts and repairs over time, which we have with the car. Another reason why it's a collector car. These are all the things that add up. You could say, well, uh, I see some that are a little less money than others. You're absolutely right. There are some that are less money than others, but there are also some that aren't as well taken care of as others. And if you did all the work on this car, took care of it for all these years, and kept it low mileage, you would expect to have uh, some value left in your car more than somebody else who didn't. All right, so one of the things I love about these cars, first off, they look great outside, but I'm gonna spend most of my time inside. Now I'm 6'1", right? And what you wanna do is be able to get in these. This is one of those cars for people that are 6'1", 6'2", 6'3". There's so much headroom, there's so much room in this car and some of the setup here. So this is all original leather in here, carpets, dash. This has a power sunroof in it as well, all right? Factory air conditioning. All of the gauges are nice and crystal clear, showing 48,973 original miles on it, right? That big 7,000 RPM tack right in front of your face. Porsche cared about the engine RPMs way more than the speedometer, because these were track-built purpose cars. Even though they were sold to the public, they were designed to be taken to the track if you wanted to on Sunday and go to work on Monday. So we're closing up a collector car video. 87 Porsche 911, right? Coupe, the most valuable of the cars, right? Here we have an enormous folder of receipts and service records and things like that. We have the books. We have two sets of keys, right? It's that kind of car. And as we talk about some of the options that are on it, power seat, the sunroof, and the uh, spoilers, the Grand Prix white paint, which is fabulous, super low miles. It is exactly what you should think about when you're thinking about buying a collector Porsche. This is that kind of car. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about it. Don't forget to click on the link below. You can get uh, some prices, some details, and some descriptions as well. See some of our other stuff. And please comment down below. Maybe you owned one in the past. Maybe you bought one of these new. We'd love to hear about it. Love to engage you in that kind of stuff. Thanks so much.